moving on to the safety cross. I move to adjourn. Okay, we're going to need to take a break if you all don't stop. Okay, ma'am, you have been warned. Security, please escort Ms. Eloisa out. That was the first. No, you were that was the first. first. You're that was security, the first. first, second, third. Show me the tape where you warned me before. Fifth row in the middle, still shouting. Please escort her out. a warning before. I'm warning you two times, three times now. The security, please escort her out. So this is what we call an unequal application of the rules that it doesn't do that. Because there's been a number of people that have been out of order throughout the meeting, throughout the night. This is not right. This is not right. them to stand down tonight. See, now would be a good time if we could ask them to stand down and, and stop violating people's rights and kick them out of the meetings. You know, now would be a good time to stand up and say this is not appropriate and she should be allowed to stay. Let's, let's cut the precedent now. And please allow members of the public to stay that are being peaceful and not a threat to public safety. Members of the public, members of the assembly, please stand up to your oath of office. All right. A member of the public that's being peaceful and sitting down, even though she raises her voice, is not committing a crime. She deserves not to be trespassed out of the building today. Stand up for your oath of office. It's time that the precedent stops of throwing people out of the public buildings, public goods, public meetings. They have a right to assemble and petition, speak freely. She was not warned either. This is a bad precedent, it needs to stop. Here's the militarization of the Anchorage Police Department, okay? Here's a moment of, this is when the meeting comes from, now it has moved to a violent position. We have armed agents of the state here depriving access to constitutional rights. We got graves here. Who else we got? Order them to stand down. Order them to stand down. Is there a second to Madam Chair? Just a second. I just had a point of inquiry. I just want to know, um, for legal reasons, you have established that you did warn her before removing her. Like previously, this was not just her first warning. Thank goodness for that little girl. She was identified, yes. I mean, Do we need to have like colored caps and colored coordinates? Shouting, clapping, making her specifically—that is correct. You have evidence. Okay, okay. I'm just—I I just want to make sure. There is it. There is it. It's not. Thank you for your point of order. This is a time where you can honor your oath to the Constitution and stand down, Bakken. Honor your oath to the Constitution and stand down. Refuse to follow the order.
a bunch of wine and babies. Jason, yeah. It's very disappointing. Eight votes. 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 And APD stands down. Mind if I squeeze back? You're done, buddy. Just take a fork in you. You're done. Six to three. That would have been a great time to stand up for our oath. Right there. I was hoping for better tonight. Quite disappointed. Quite disappointing. Quite disappointing. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Security stood down, though. Quite interesting. Wow. She just threw something at the mini manager. When the public process is done appropriately. Hang the plaque, close the meeting. Chair of France, I'm disappointed. Hang the plaque, close the meeting. Vice Chair Constant, I'm disappointed. It's interesting that we didn't get a resolution there. They were able to shut down and adjourn the meeting. We did not get a resolution on constitutional rights today. I'd love to see a resolution, Mr. Mayor, um, as to the public's right to be present in a public meeting and to sit freely in a chair and to be able to petition their government and freely speak and the right of the people to be present. I would have appreciated if we could have had a resolution with the citizen today that was... Yeah. Yeah, the Bronson administration is cooked. Absolutely cooked. They're done. Cooked. So Graves and uh, Carell, right? Can I just have your badge numbers? Because I've never met you before. 61410. All right. So I just wanted to follow up with, with what went on tonight. Um, we as citizens were really looking for a resolution as to what goes on in these public meetings and the people's right to be able to freely speak and petition their government and assemble their First Amendment guaranteed rights. So we're looking for the city's employees and for the responsible law enforcement agents to honor their oath. And when you're given orders, right, to go arrest someone or kick someone out of a public meeting, and they haven't broken any law, just that it's subjective decorum stuff, we need to stop following those orders. You know, so next time you guys are in your meeting, 
And I know it's tough sometimes because you have supervisors that are telling you what to do, but you're all human beings and people and you can speak up. So I'm gonna pray for you, Graves and Perel, that you have the courage to stand up and tell the truth, okay? God bless you both. Take care. You got everything, honey? All right. Yeah. No, we should be all right. Should be all right. All right, so we finished up uh, the public meeting here. They adjourned it, dismissing the public's comment and right to testify. So, uh, Bakken, I just want to let you know, since I was talking to your underlings in there, Carell and Graves, when you're given an order by someone above you that's not lawful, such as kicking someone out of a public meeting, we all have the right to freedom of assembly, petition, and to freely speak. Okay, so in a public meeting, when someone's sitting down, they're not breaking the law. Y'all shouldn't go over and harass them and surround them. Duly noted. Have a good night. So next time you're in your meeting, you know, have a talk with the chief about this. Chief Duly Curl have a good night. and Case. All right. You have a good night too. Yeah. Honor your oath. It's always a lesson. All right, y'all. We're going to conclude transmission a little after 11 Alaska time. No, she really didn't. Been in that meeting all damn night. Hey, there was, was there was no yelling at her. There they was so at, many. There was yelling at another girl who looked similar to her a few rows back. There was so many disturbances that were left unchecked. Have a good night, Have a good night brother. Yeah. And then they decide to pick that one. Uh, what's that? I said, you are Eugene's replacement. Well, I, I find it compelling tonight that uh, oh, yeah. they canceled public testimony the night they hung up a plaque for him. <laughs> that he probably would have hated the plaque, oh, the know. clapping, <laughs> especially the photo. I know. I know. I know. He would have said, this is a place for the business of the city. <laughs> you guys. I don't know what he would have said, but, but, but God bless him. Because, yes. You know, uh, it was... It, and then they shut it down. I mean, typically. This is his MO, duck and cover. What's your name?